Hey everybody, I'm back with another uh, knife review. Actually, uh, this is not really a knife review. This is actually more of a of a, a kind of a neat little video I decided to do uh, regarding my very first knife that I've ever bought. Uh, you know, with with the, with my own money. Um, and uh, my parents always hated me uh, liking knives in the past, and you know I borrowed a few from friends, but I uh, actually never really owned my first knife until this one right here. So I just wanted to let it tell uh, show everybody this knife. So I thought it'd be kind of neat. Anyway, this is a SOG Pentagon Elite. Now, this is the original SOG Pentagon Elite. I've owned this knife for a long time. So long, I've actually forgotten, uh, you know, how long or when I've actually purchased it. And I don't even have the original boxes or anything like that anymore. So, uh, that's back when I wasn't really in my knife collecting stage. I just like knives, but I never really thought I would be, you know, I never thought I would keep, keep buying them. So, and now I'm a little more of a hardcore collector uh, than anything. So, anyway, uh, you can tell this is not, not the new Elite. For one, there's no arc lock on there. This is still a, still a liner lock from SOG, and uh, you can tell it's got the little nice uh, thumb pad with a checkered uh, grip or checkered uh, checkering on there for you to um, for you to grip easier. All right, for uh, the pocket clips on the uh, tip down carry side, and it is reversible left and right, right there. He has two screws and the pivot screw. Um, uh, the new SOG Elite, I believe, is on the tip uh, tip up carry side. So it's on this side actually, uh, reversible, I believe. So, so let me show you how. Um, how much I've used this blade. So first of all, this knife, uh, the blade used to say Pentagon Elite on it. Here, let me move it closer to it, to, to the camera here. You notice how the uh, the word Elite, well, the word Pentagon is almost com is basically completely gone. It's just T and the E. Elite is faded in. It says it does say Sog on the blade here. So this is how much I've used it. Look at the scratches I got on the blade here. <laughs> and here, look at the other side. Just wailed on this thing. The tip is like blunt. It's ridiculous. It does say Seiki City or Seiki uh, uh, Japan, I believe, on the blade here. That's probably where it's made overseas. Uh, here's the funny thing. Um, this knife used to be very sharp. Watch this. <laughs> I'm actually running my thumb up and down the the the, the uh, uh, plain edge part of it. Look at that. No cuts. <laughs> This is completely dull. This is how much I've used it in the past. I never bothered to sharpen it because then I started buying new knives. After I dulled this one, I said, hey, I'll just get something new instead of sharpening it. Well, I think think about going back to have it sharpened. Now, the serrations is still actually pretty sharp, so I'm not going to run my thumb up and down that for you. So, this knife is a great design. I love it. I mean, it's nice and streamlined. It looks like a switchblade to me. Uh, but this is what I like about it the most. When you close it, it's completely streamlined. Not a single part, except for the thumb stud. Not a single part of the the blade actually shows on the handle. Not like the not like the knives of today, uh, or not like most knives. What I'm saying, uh, it is just it's just awesome. I love this design. It's so discreet, you know. But there's a bad, there's a downside. The serrations on this knife, right here, uh, you can actually touch it. <laughs> So they're pretty close to the very top here. So if you were to put your finger here and you to like run it down, you will cut yourself. And I've done that. That's one reason I know. Um, so that's what I didn't really like. Kind of a kind of a design flaw to me actually. But but I, overall, if you were to grip it, I mean your skin could probably get into fold here, and you'll probably still cut yourself too if you gripped it hard enough here. So, um, but yeah, you can you can see straight through right there. See, and a little bit of a backspacer here on the plastic handles. Um, it's great. You can flick it open, or you can just open it slowly. I found it easier to to to, to not flick it open just because uh, the where the thumb stud's placed is kind of see it's kind of hard to get to. It takes a couple. There we go. It takes a wrist flick. I can actually just flick it out with with just my wrist, but I don't I don't think I have enough room here with the camera to do it. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's a great feeling knife. Uh, my only one big complaint probably would be that the lack of a. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even call this a thumb ramp, but there, there's jump, there's jimping on here. But uh, it's pretty sharp. But I, you know, if you were to stab something hard by accident, you will slip up onto the blade. There's nothing stopping you. This is not a choil. That's just where this, uh, where the thumb stud recesses in after it closes. So the pivot screw is adjustable, uh, and it, there, there was no blade plate ever when I got it. But see, now left and right is still very tight. But listen to this. That's the actual blade moving up and down on, on the on the blade stop. So, uh, unfortunately, when that happens, there's nothing you can really do about it. At least not that nothing that I know that you can do about it. So, I guess this is the way it is. Look at how far that liner locks or locks over. Awesome, and it's got the thumb pad here. Easy uh, disengagement. Uh, I just love this knife. It's great, and uh, I'm uh, I'm proud to say this is my very first knife, uh, very first real knife. So. Anyway, uh, again, this was not really a review, but just to show you what I own. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you too. The screws here are Phillips head. They're not even Torx. 
Same with the uh, same with the screws um, uh, holding the uh, uh, clip in. At least these two are. This is a this is a I believe a torque screw right here. So uh, I, I mean it's just it's just an old design. It's just it's kind of funny that I still have it and I actually found it. So I was very happy. Uh, I, I actually lost some knives somewhere. So uh, dual thumb studs. Yeah, it's great checkering on the on the plastic. I mean. This is this is a this is a great feeling knife. It's rather lightweight, and and even though there are, there's actually dual liners in here, they're just recessed into the plastic uh, handle scale. So, but it is actually relatively still um, still pretty lightweight. You know, not like a heavy knife. So even though it's huge, this is like a four, over four inch cutting bl uh, surface, and the overall length is like a, I think it's an eight eight and a half maybe. It's it's a pretty long knife. You know, so it's massive. Uh, um, but it's great. But I was just actually had to be more careful when whipping this out in uh, in public because uh, this is actually kind of a scary looking knife uh, in a way, you know. So, at any rate, here it is, my very first uh, real knife, the Sog Pentagon Elite. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.